When designing a ClickSense application, one of the things that often come up is having enough room on the sheet to add more visuals. In this example, I have four visuals on my sheet and I want to add more. One of the ways I can do this is extend my sheet or I can bring in the VisLib container. The VisLib container gives you the ability to better organize your visualizations and improve the overall user experience. And it will also give you valuable space on your sheet to add more visuals as well. The first thing I will need to do is add each of these visuals as a master item. Once each of these visuals is added as a master item, I can go ahead and remove them from the sheet. Next, let's bring in our VisLib container. Under Library, let's find VisLib container, click, drag and drop, and bring that into our sheet. Once your VisLib container is brought in, you have two different options, either a single or a grid format. For grid format, this gives you a few options of how your grid can be laid out. This works really well if you have a few KPIs or visuals that you want to be shown all at the same time. Otherwise, besides the grid layout, you have the single option. By choosing single, you can go ahead and select your master items that you want to bring in. These are the master items that we just added a few moments ago. Once those are selected, you can see that our container is populated with those four master items that we selected. Next, in combination with the template functionality, you can choose from any of these pre-selected formats to format your container, or you can create your own template to use later for different containers or in different applications. By selecting the template, my container is now fully formatted. Some other things we can do within our container objects, we can choose just to show the text, the icon, or both as it is now. You can change your label. You can choose the size of your label. You can also use a conditional hide and show to either show or hide different containers based on different conditions. In settings, you can change your appearance of your master items. Right now, it does default to tabs. You can choose the accordion view. You can choose the drop down view where it acts as a drop down. You can use the carousel option so you can pan from left to right. Or you can choose the hidden option where you can use that conditional show or hide. For appearance, this is where you can format your container a little bit more. For the inactive tab, these are all the tabs that are not currently active. You can change the background color, the opacity, and your font properties. You can also choose whether you have a border or not. You can change the border width, or you can actually change the radius as well. So if I increase this, you'll see the radius on my inactive tabs get bigger. Same functionality for my active tab. This will change the properties around the tab that is active. Again, you can choose the background color. You can change the font size, the font styling what borders are selected, the border color, and again, you can change the width and the radius as well. Again, as I move this dial to the right, I can see my radius on my active tab get greater. Next, for my navigation bar, I can choose the navigation background, the navigation background opacity, so if I brought that up to 100 and change my color, you can see the back of these tabs now appear blue. You can choose to have a border, and you can also choose the separation in between tabs. So as I increase this more, the separation in between tabs get greater, and you can see the navigation background a little bit more easily. For tab setting, right now it is left aligned. You can choose center or right aligned. You can also choose the font format as well. For hover color, so if I hover over a tab, you can change the hover over color. So if I change that to red, I can hover over, and now that hover color does change to red. And again, you can change the opacity as well. 